Thank you, Honourable Member for Sabasanya. Thank you very much, Madam Speaker. <clears throat> yes. Um, Madam Speaker, as we know that <clears throat> we need to reduce the deficit, uh, my intervention will just go to certain key areas where I will make some kind of proposal in relation to the draft estimate. As I said, we need to reduce the deficit so that we can also reduce the interest payment or the rate, interest rate on, <clears throat> on, the, on the loans and make savings in the, in the, in the, productive, sector, uh, in the productive sector of the economy. Now, when I look at the budget, I observe that the allocation for vehicles for me is too much because 150 million is earmarked for vehicles, purchasing of vehicles. And I want to propose that maybe for that budget line, we downsize it to 100 million dollars. Um, I have a lot of issues along various ministries, but I will just give out key, key areas. When we come to the committee of the whole house, I will come up with those suggestions. But for the purchase of vehicles, for me, 150 million is too much looking at the deficit of the budget, looking at the, the, the level of our economy. We need to, as he said, start the, the physical discipline from our own selves. Um, going through the budget as well, I went, I look, also look at the travel votes. A sum of 300 million is captured or earmarked for that, for that vote, vote line or vote. And uh, I want to suggest that 200 million is really enough for that line. If you go to the centralized service, Madam Speaker, 500 million is budgeted there, which can be reduced to 300 million. For subvention to other institutions, I don't know which institutions are targeted here, but it is not clear to me. I want the minister to help us, because if the institutions were mentioned, you would know which one deserves what. But at this point, I cannot, because it is not mentioned there. Madam Speaker, if you go to the National Audit Office, I have a concern. Because uh, there are a lot of new allowances created, which were not there in the past two years, and they, they really attract a lot of revenues, a lot of funds. And for me, I believe these are some of the things that why our budget is in deficit. It is really inflating the budget. So I think uh, by looking our, at our economy, we should also sacrifice some of our personal emoluments that will really help this country and the people of the Gambia. So, Madam Speaker, for the National Audit Office, when we go to the Committee of the Whole House, I have a lot of suggestions that I would like us to consider. Uh, food and food services. Comparing the last year with this year, um, there also I see 232 million, which is about 21 percent. And uh, I think, Madam Speaker, we need to know also what are these food and food services and why they are there for? I, I really don't understand that very well. And I want to get some clarification from the ministry. Now, anything that I mention, and uh, we are able to get or acquire some kind of savings, I want to employ the house to look at the the, the productive sector of the economy, and we increase some of the you know, budget lines there. I will make some suggestions to some of the ministries that I really feel should be looked at. For example, works. Madam Speaker, we are all complaining of our bad roads in the country, and it is through this ministry that we should have this road fixed. We cannot just depend on external, do external funding for our infrastructure. 
Um, looking at their development budget, I see some increment, but that doesn't enough because uh, since the inception of this government, if you go to the local, uh, the, the rural Gambia, only few few areas are considered, and people are really complaining. And Madam Speaker, we are all politicians. If you don't deliver, especially in infrastructure, we cannot convince our people. That is a concern. Therefore, the Ministry of Works should really be resourced so that we can monitor them, follow them to see our roads fixed. Uh, Madam Speaker, youth transport, many, many speakers have said it here, is another key area. And I think uh, we should really look into that, and there are some areas where we can really reduce to support those key ministries. I want to suggest the foreign affairs. We still need to downsize. They, are still, they, they really reduce the, the budget compared to last year. But then there are still more need to be done in that ministry. Because if you look at their allowances, what they, what they get as P is, is really big. It's a high chunk of money. So being the case, for the interest of the Gambia, I think we need to downsize the embassies or the missions to save money and fix our deficit budget. Um, agriculture, many people have said it, but for me, I have a different view. And I will make a suggestion because over the years, in fact, this year, their budget is reduced. Many people have said it. But for me, it's fair because if you are giving something and we don't see any dividend, we don't see any, you don't convince people in terms of you know, performance, actually, it will be difficult to give you extra money. And what I see, I'm not really convinced with agriculture. In fact, I want to suggest that the, the entire management of that ministry be changed to have new people where we can have, you know, a change. Yeah, that is my suggestion because over the years, they have a lot of projects, a lot of things have been, you know, given to that sector but still Gambians are complaining of agricultural productivity. Actually, that is my own opinion, but we need to look at this thing closely and very seriously, because we all believe that agriculture is one of the key areas that is engineering the, the, the economy of this country. As a result, we should not just be talking about it and decision is not taken. Agriculture, for me, I believe we need to take serious decisions in that sector. Because I have the belief that if agriculture is seriously handled, we will not talk about what we are talking today. Therefore, Madam Speaker, I, in fact, need not intended to, to, to speak here. Um, we met yesterday and day before yesterday uh, during our committee sessions. We have a lot of issues and the reports are coming. I have also other personal observations regarding the budget. I want to reserve myself until the Committee of the Whole House when I will come with other details. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Honorable Member for Bangil South. Thank you.